seen down at Camp Randall Stadium. And our own Emily Cumlin is live with a report. Emily, what a great night to be a Badger, eh? <laughs> Absolutely, Matt. And if Wisconsin was looking for that signature win to go from a good team to a great team, this is certainly it. And this was also head coach Brett Bielma's first win as a head coach against Ohio State. So he kind of got that monkey off his back as well. And he spoke after the game, and here are some of his thoughts. Everybody in the room, you just felt the anticipation, the excitement, but there was also a calmness uh, in, in our approach to the day. It wasn't people bouncing off the walls or going berserk. It was a, a calmness of excitement, I guess would be the way to phrase it. And then at halftime, uh, went in and told the coaches and, and asked our players to score 0 0, just you know, approach the, the second half the same way. But I did point out right before we left the locker room that uh, we've been in four quarter games this year. We, we've, whether by choice or not, we've been in them. And, I didn't really think Ohio State had been, and I really wanted those guys to believe in what we were talking about. And that, that drive in the fourth quarter when they got within three was a great example of believing. All right, well, when you think Wisconsin football, you also think about the running game, and Wisconsin certainly controlled the line of scrimmage tonight. John Clay had 104 yards rushing, and James White had 75 yards. And to put that into perspective, coming into the game, Ohio State had a 29-game streak of not allowing a rusher to go over 100 yards. So certainly that was a difference in the game. And how good is freshman James White? That clutch touchdown in the fourth quarter, the run game, was certainly key to the victory tonight, Matt. They showed a lot of poise the entire offense on that drive. You talk about the Buckeyes defense and how tough they've been. How about the Badger defense? All week been, we've been hearing about how they're going to stop Terrell Pryor. Pryor only had 56 yards rushing and another 156 in the air. He was sacked three times. And, Emily, you could really see once the Badgers went up 10 points again late in the fourth, the onus was put on Pryor to Abs go down and throw absolutely. the ball every you down, know, and they couldn't do it. You're right, Matt. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble hearing you. But, you know, the defense did step up, and we heard so many times at Michigan State that they couldn't get off the field on third down, and they were having all kinds of issues, and they played much better today, and they forced Pryor to kind of throw the ball, and he didn't really have a ton of success today. So a big credit to the Wisconsin defense. They certainly showed up for this huge game today and a huge victory for Wisconsin. And, of course, they can't, you know, they'll enjoy it probably tonight, and then, of course, you know, they'll turn their focus to Iowa, who is another team that they historically have not had the best success against. But Wisconsin will. Enjoy this one tonight as they shock the college football world and beat the number one ranked Buckeyes. Matt? And we'll find out next week. Emily Cumlin live at Camp Randall. Thank you so much, Emily. Well, you heard.